Let's have a session on payback. This is for A-level business. So here's the question. A business invests £1 million switching from labour-intensive production to capital-intensive production. Based on the numbers below, calculate the payback period. So read through those numbers, particularly pay attention to the top of the table, and then try and work it out, and then we'll go through it in a few seconds. So hopefully you've had a chance to, to work that out. Let's go through it. So firstly, we just put the numbers to the sides. So we've got the cost of investment is £1 million, and we've got the cost savings, which is effectively the cash inflows, and we've got the running cost, which is effectively the cash outflows. So clearly, we need to work out the net cash flows to make this a little bit simpler. So I've done that there. So you can see NCF, net cash flows, year one is 0.1, which is simply the difference between those numbers. And then I've done that through for all the years, 0.4, 0.7, and 1 million. Now, should make it easier to do the payback. So the payback, we start, of course, with minus one, minus one million being the cost of the investment. And then we just add on, sequentially, the net cash flow. So the year one net cash flow, NCF we worked out, was plus 0.1. So we add that onto the minus one. That comes to minus 0.9. And then we repeat that for year two. So we get minus 0.5. And then for year three, we can add on 0.7 that we calculated for year three net cash flows, and that comes to a plus number. So we can see between year two and year three, it switches from minus 0.5 to plus 0.2. So payback is somewhere between year two and year three. Now we just need to work out the months because we know it's gonna be two years and something months because it's between year two and year three. So to do that, we take the difference between year two and year three, which is 0.7, that's the difference between minus 0.5 and plus 0.2. And then we need to get the difference between year two start, which was minus 0.5 and payback. And obviously payback is just zero. So that must be 0.5. And then we just find as a percentage what that is as the original number being the difference between year two and year three. So 0.5 divided by 0.7 times it by 12 months to turn it into months, that comes to 8.6 months, which means the answer is two years and 8.6 months. I hope that helps. I'll see you in the next session.